The Senate chamber is often the scene of major parliamentary and state ceremonies. One of the most impressive ceremonies is the installation of a new Governor General. The speech from the throne also takes place in the Senate chamber. There, members of the House of Commons are summoned by the Governor General for the opening of a new session of Parliament. Another historic event held in the Senate chamber is Royal Assent, which reminds us that the creation of laws in our country requires the cooperation of the three components of Parliament. A representative of the Sovereign, either the Governor General or her deputy, normally a Justice of the Supreme Court of Canada, enters the Senate chamber and is seated in the Speaker's chair. The Senators are in their seats. Then the Usher of the Black Rod summons the members of the House of Commons to the Senate chamber. With their Speaker at the head, the members of the House of Commons meet at the rear of the Senate chamber without crossing the brass bar at the entrance. By their presence, the members of both chambers indicate that the people of Canada request the Sovereign to ensure that the bill becomes law and agree to be subject to the law. After the title of the bill is read aloud, the Clerk of the Senate and Clerk of the Parliaments reads the Royal Assent. The Sovereign's representative nods to indicate that consent is given and the bill becomes law. There shall be one Parliament for Canada, consisting of the Queen, an Upper House styled the Senate, and the House of Commons. For several decades now, the Senate has been inquiring into major questions of public interest, such as health, poverty, youth, unemployment, inflation, the situation of seniors, land use, science policy, aboriginal affairs, international relations, and the effectiveness of federal government departments. These inquiries result in highly relevant reports, which often lead to changes in the law or in government policy. The Fathers of Confederation gave the Senate the important legislative function of protecting regional, provincial, territorial and minority interests. Generations of senators have fulfilled this role, both in the upper chamber and in committees. Their work has helped to shape Canada into a country that is admired throughout the world for its social, cultural, economic and political values.